So far this year hasn't given us too many great blockbusters, but we are only about halfway through February. If you guys have been following my channel, you'll know that I wasn't really hot on Bad Boys for Life or Underwater, and I have seen a few other movies since then, like The Rhythm Section and The Lodge, both of which I have different thoughts on, but Sonic the Hedgehog was a movie that I actually was looking forward to for quite some time. And with all video game movies, you have to go in with kind of mild expectations, just because Hollywood hasn't really got it exactly right just yet. Detective Pikachu was probably the closest we've gotten to a genuinely good video game movie, even though that movie had tons of flaws in my opinion, but it was a really fun time altogether. And Sonic the Hedgehog didn't exactly have a perfect track record getting to the big screen either. If you guys remember, last year when we got the first trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog, fans were going crazy because of the design for the title or character. It looked horrific to say the least. SFPD! Uh, meow? Ah, oh, come on. Thankfully, Paramount Pictures and director Jeff Fowler actually listened to the fans, went back to the drawing board, delayed the film a few months, and actually put in the time to redesign the character from head to toe, giving him a much more faithful video game design. So in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, Sonic tries to navigate the complexities of life on Earth with his newfound best friend, a human named Tom Wachowski. They must soon join forces to prevent the evil Dr. Robotnik from capturing Sonic and using his powers for world domination. The film is directed by Jeff Feller and is produced by Tim Miller and his company Blur Studios. The main cast members include Ben Schwartz, who's voicing Sonic, James Marsden as Tom the Sheriff, Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, and Tika Sumter as his wife, Maddie. So I guess I'll break this review into what worked for me, the positives, and some negatives that I had and small gripes with the film. So overall, I was very positive on this film. I actually came out of it feeling very good and very surprised that they actually did Sonic right because, you know, the first trailer, it was a mess. The movie didn't really look good visually, but it also just didn't look funny or interesting to watch. But when Paramount dropped the redesign new trailer which came out a handful of months ago now it actually looked like a genuinely good movie like they had improved leaps and bounds over not just Sonic himself but just made the movie look much more interesting and appealing to watch so off the bat I have to say that this movie does a really good job of introducing Sonic as a character for fans and casuals alike you get a sense of Sonic's world before he comes to Earth, what his childhood was like, some of his other characters in his world, and some of the things that we might be seeing should this film be successful and lead into future sequels. Another positive that I had is that Jim Carrey absolutely kills it as Dr. Robotnik. He really goes for it, and I think that that was one of the most hyped up elements based on the trailers and marketing pieces for the film because in all the trailers Jim Carrey just looked like he was having a great time, he was hamming it up, chewing all the scenery, and just doing what he does best. Another thing that I really liked about this movie is that it actually has really good and fun human characters and you actually buy the Earth setting. While at first you might think that, ah well they're just going to green hills or whatever, it might be boring because we're not actually seeing Sonic go through all these different realms and worlds and stuff, but honestly I didn't really get bored of the whole earthbound setting really and it works for this whole origin movie. Another thing the movie has going for it is the really cool action sequences because Sonic moves at such high speed it's basically the Flash movie that we haven't gotten yet. And another thing that I was surprised by is how this movie actually has a genuine heartfelt story about the title character Sonic himself. You get the sense that he's kind of an outsider, and that he's alone, really, and that he has no one to go to, and that he actually ends up adopting this family on Earth throughout the course of the story, because he gets closer to the character of Tom. I did mention that I have a couple negatives for the film, because at times it can be cliche, you've seen it all before, this isn't exactly a new story that's breaking new grounds or anything, but it worked for me nonetheless. 
Another thing that I had an issue with was the movie kind of starts off a little clunky. The first 15 to 20 minutes or so move a little bit quickly, the pacing isn't all that great, but once Tom and Sonic meet up and start their quest together, it actually all comes together. Another thing is that with this movie you can tell it was definitely made by fans of the game. It's peppered with tons of easter eggs for hardcore fans of Sonic and also for just general video game fans. One thing that I found kind of funny was that before the movie started they were showing all the company logos and they showed a Sega movie logo which showed off not just Sonic but all of their video game properties so I'm wondering if Sega hopes that this movie does well so that they can have their own MCU like universe. There are also some big easter eggs that happen and big reveals that I won't spoil in here but I think Sonic fans are going to lose their minds over that. Now as for my final thoughts on the film and overall should you see it or should you skip it I think you should absolutely go see this movie and go support it just on the fact that the filmmakers actually took their time listened to the fans and made it ultimately a better movie by redesigning Sonic and probably punching up some of the scenes and taking their time to make the movie even better I think the best comparison I can make to this movie with another movie that I was actually surprised by last year is probably Shazam I wasn't super excited for it going into it but like Shazam I came out really enjoying myself and wanting to see where that character is going to go next. So did you guys see Sonic the Hedgehog? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below but let's try to keep it as spoiler free as possible to let fans check it out in theaters this weekend. And if you haven't seen the film yet, are you planning to see it? What are you excited to see out of the film the most? Thank you all for tuning into my review. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you can be immediately notified whenever I drop new content. And if you want to hit me up on social media, links down in the description box below. Be sure to like, share, and comment on this video. It really helps me out. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.